The domestic violence shelter operating on the smallest budget in Kansas City is getting a boost. Jackson County Combat gave nearly one and a half million dollars to organizations in the metro focusing on youth programs and domestic shelters, including Newhouse KC. The group's president and CEO told KCTV5's Carolina Cruz that that money comes at a dire time. Carolina. Absolutely, Carolyn. This is actually the first time that Combat is giving out this mid-year funds because they are seeing that rise in need. Newhouse KC says they are experiencing a spike in people seeking their support. The organization has seen a rise in the number of people calling their hotline. It's using the $70,000 that it received to increase staff during peak call times. Newhouse's director, Courtney Thomas, says they received 55% fewer calls for help at the beginning of the pandemic because survivors were trapped at home with their abusers. But as restrictions are lifting, calls are up by more than 11%. You don't want someone calling the hotline and not being able to reach someone or being placed on hold when they're in this place of courage and bravery and they're ready to take that step for safety planning. We knew that half the violent crime was domestic violence related. But this year, because of the pandemic, uh, one of the majors uh, south of the river said that those numbers have tipped and now 60% of our violent crime is domestic violence related. Thomas says that some of those funds will also be used to hire a bilingual case manager and advocate and a bilingual therapist. This will help with their outreach and equity in the services they provide. In the studio, Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News.